right, thanks for joining us again. Um, you know, on a frigid, frigid uh, Western New York night. Even though, you know, if you're not from Western New York, uh, I, it's frigid. It sucks. It's really bad right it's now. Pretty bad. It's pretty cold. Um, anyhow, hi Robin. How are you? I'm glad you're here. Glad to be here. Nice. Looking forward to the new show. Yeah, you're gonna hear it. Yeah. And you can wait. speak up. Uh, Wade is back behind the the screen where he always is, doing a great job for us and producing us and making sure we get on the sh the air. Or else we without him we wouldn't have it. Julio, my friend, how you doing? I'm good. How about you guys? I'm all right. As you can see to my right, you're left, I guess. Um, Scott Taggart. Hey, Scott. How you doing? Good. good. How are you, man? Good. We got a new uh, uh, person joining our family, our team here at Gorillas Inc. Gold Gutters, whatever. Uh, no, you for a long time. Absolutely, very long time. Yeah, high no, school. I know. Don't you guys? Both you guys? Yeah. Aging us out with that, you know. Yeah, I know. So what's up, man? How you been? Good, good, good. great. Yeah, you know, working, doing my thing. Yeah, keeping up with like on sports, like everybody else. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know you've entertainment always, in my life. I, I know, and you <laughs> have. Um, you've always been. You've always been into it, right? Oh, I mean, yeah, when we were kids, gosh. I remember. I played always... football. God, I started. I believe like seven. You know, right. I started with football. Right. That's yeah. The main, the main sport I played. Tried my hand at others. Wasn't fantastic at that. So. You did know. you ever play hockey? No, I did not. No. I don't know why I thought you no, did. I'm no. Horrible okay. on skates. It's, right. No. Yeah. So yeah, I'm glad you're Rubber here with legs, us. man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't even bother trying at this point. I'm glad you're here with us. Um, because I don't know if you ever watched us. You've watched us a couple times. Yeah. And um, you know, Julio here, my my friend. You guys are both very opinionated. I like it. <laughs> so that's good. It's a good word. Th that's good. No, that's the right word, right? I mean, that's the best word. It's the best word because that's what it is. Because it's just it's it's good. You guys, you guys are the brains of it for this. See, I just like sit here and I'm going to facilitate Magic Johnson style. You know what I mean, or whatever. Because they don't sure. do that anymore. There's no more in basketball. There's no point guards. No, there's no like one. three tops. Yeah. yeah. Who cares about assists anymore? Uh, Remember John Stockton? <laughs> that's all he did. Who even leads Absolutely. the league in assists right now? No one cares. I don't think, I don't think anyone cares. What, Chris Paul? Maybe. Like over unders on when you bet on these are like five, and it's like a point For guard. assists, like yeah. One. Wow. There's no point guard. They have to completely are gone. It's kind of like uh, what? Well, they're coming back a little bit like the fullback. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Huh? Right. But I love the fullback. I oh. think every team should have a fullback. I don't know why they haven't tried to get away from it, to be honest. I know, because a fullback that can catch. Well, that guy for uh, Baltimore. Kyle Hughes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hughes. Wow. He's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you, it, what a weapon. I, I always like, I like, you guys know I like the Bears, and there's a team that likes to run, blah, 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 black and blue bullshit. They don't have one. It always surprises me. And they always end up going for a coach that tries to be some kind of, like, like that idiot Tressman or <laughs> Nagy. You know, right, like, right, right. Nagy just got picked up today. Kansas City again. Yeah, yeah. yeah back as quarterback coordinator or something. Whatever the hell they called it. But, I mean, of course he would. He's the quarterback's coach. He's yeah. fine. I mean, he's I'm sure like he's that. good at that, you know. But, oh, there's. But, two... but it was a disaster. Chris Paul leads the league in assists. By I was right. All right. Yeah. 10 yeah. point yeah. 10.7. Who else is? Who's next? James Harden's number See, two. James Harden, yeah. Giante Murray and Luka Doncic. Trey Young's there, too. Right? Oh, yeah, Trey Young. No, but think about Those guys aren't point guards. Right. And well, then Chris you, Paul, yeah. He is. You would call him one. But, yeah. like, at, you watch a Brooklyn game, and when he ever plays, the guy, Durant is seven whatever. Carrying the ball. He's bringing it down. The court. Giannis you know? brings it up. LeBron yeah. brings it up. It's crazy. There's not a position anymore. There's centers and then there's forwards. Yeah. Centers and forwards, yeah. Last known assist man. Who do you think you're watching? Last right? known assist guy? Well, I mean, Chris Paul's still here. Yeah, well, I guess we'll give him an after. Before, before that. Before I mean, Ray John well, Rondo. You said John Stockton. I oh, yeah. I'd go Ray John Rondo as a my just said. Yeah. Rondo's a good one, kid. Yeah. Mark Jackson in that era. But ben then, Simmons. It's over. He can't shoot the ball. He <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, while we're speaking about basketball for a second, I want to get into the story of, uh, it was the story of the week, and certainly in college basketball, we got the video. Um, Jawan Howard, remember Fab Five, Jawan Howard, oh, yeah. um, is now the head coach of Michigan. Um, the Wolverines are... They're kind of scrambling to try to get in the into the March Madness. They're 17 to 10. They took on Wisconsin. Here it is. Um, let me let, let let's let it just go through, and then I'll explain why it happened to. Um, this is my first time watching. You know. Okay, yeah, there you go. You see, Coach uh, Greg Gard there is going to stop him. He doesn't want to talk. Yep. Ron Howard doesn't want to talk. Something happens right there. He wanted to really walk by him. 
when the player comes in. Oh no, there's the coach. Uh, whatever his name, I forgot his name right now. I forgot his name. Kravenhoff. Yeah. And, and there he goes. Um, Kravenhoff, also <laughs> six foot seven, a former player for Wisconsin. Um, and then that happens. Uh, Howard slaps him. What's he um, mad about? The timeout? Yes. There was a Howard is angry because uh, Greg Gard, the head coach of Wisconsin, calls a timeout with 15 seconds left in the game. After the reserves are in and Wisconsin turned the ball over, they couldn't break the press. Right. But there's like, at the point when he calls timeout, you know, they, they had four seconds to get over half court. So they called timeout, but there was 15 seconds on the clock. It... They, I understand it both ways. I get it. Yeah. Um, you know, Howard was aggravated. Why are you doing that? The game ends 77-63. Yeah, it's um, a bad luck. You know. Which is obviously. I think so, there had to be something more to that. But, well, I don't think it was for Howard because I he's pissed because. He wasn't that mad at Chris Weber, though, when he used the timeout. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. <laughs> not a good, not a good timeout. You don't think so? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't think he was our, he was, you don't think anything else left well, I'm sure he was all? angry at the, I'm sure he was. Frustrated over, getting, over them getting beat, but when I mean, you was, do yeah, that, the coaches get that's like a that's one of those unwritten rules. I feel like like right. where you just don't do it. Like you know, why are you calling timeout with 15 seconds left in the right. game? You know, right. the game's over. So what if you can't get over half court? He, he tried not to have the conversation. Yeah, at the end. that's the thing. He he was going to walk and right he, by, and then he's then he forced he, him. To he have forced him. Like, not just let before that. Yeah, he's he's like trying to get by. He's pulling his mask up, like he's saying something to him first before he walked up to him. And I mean, there he goes again. Now there's the guy. He leans right. in. I know something happened he between him and that player kid. right yeah. there. Yes. And then bang. And, that's, and then he hits. I'd love to know if they knew what was said there. Oh, someone knows, right? No one Somebody's said. Somebody's got it. No know. one has said. Yeah. I just. I think that's but, what precipitated him hitting, reaching. And, yeah. and like we we talked earlier, but again, we'll say it. First, they started saying that he had punched him. It's a slap. On all the networks, they said that. You know, even though it was obviously a slap, but. I'd love to know what was said there. I'll, you know, when you uh, do that, they, I, I obviously Howard was upset because they got buried. They lost a big game, you know, against Wisconsin. And I think that, my opinion, caused Howard to go over the, probably put him over the edge when there's a timeout call with 15 seconds left. Right. There's a, there's a, you know, you got whatever. So what if you turn the ball over? Um, I don't know what the line on that game was. I'd love to know. But I can't imagine it was 14 or 12. You see what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. In the event. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm sure it wasn't, though it had to be closer than that. But, like, the handshake line, I think, needs to go. Because I, well, last year you didn't have it, and there's no problems. Right. Stop the handshakes. Because, I agree yeah, with that. You know, sure. I mean, I, I also, this was something, I don't know what you guys think, but I didn't think Howard should have been the only one suspended in that. I think Krabenhoff. The other coach should have. Should have got something. Yeah, I don't know if I would give it to. I don't know if I'd give Force it to that situation. Maybe to that's the, in the problem. First place. So I know what he opinion. was trying to do. He's trying to apologize. He's trying but to. But he say could have done it and let it. Yeah, but time. when you watch yeah. the clip though, he pull, uh, Howard pulls his mask off, mm -hmm. like up, so he looks like he's saying something now, before they even talk to each other. I guarantee you, Howard wasn't going to shake his hand. No. He was just going to walk straight by. But he also mm -hmm. could have just called him a name, and then yeah. that's what. That's why the other coach stopped him. We don't know what what it's that possible. was said. Right. Yeah. Right. We don't know what was said. Didn't really right. that part. I just know that everything happened there, like that would piss some piss you off. Right. You know, timeout. You're getting beat. Um, you know, big game against Wisconsin, who's twenty two and five in your conference, and this guy. I know I'd be pissed. Sure. They call timeout with right. five. I know I'd be pissed. I'd fucking lose it. Plus, he's a former player. Yeah. I mean, those guys. Well, they're on a different they, place. They take, they take losing a little bit differently than we do. Yeah, well, you know, I, I a know. A lot differently than we I do. I know I'd be right. outraged. I'd have lost sure. my mind. So sure, think about that. Multiply yeah. that times yeah. probably. 100. I would have lost my mind. I would have been very upset to watch this guy to, uh, we're in Wisconsin, just stop, let it end. Why do you got to continue to beat right. us, you know? Sure, cause, sure. But then, I get, but then it's funny because I can go on the Wisconsin side. I understand why they would call timeout, though, because these are reserves. Why not coach them? Why not help them learn how to break a press? Correct. So I kind of get that, you know what I mean? I kind of get that side of it, too, if I was on the other end, because those are all kids that probably don't play much. Now, they're not kids. You see? Well, they're all kids. They are, and they aren't, though. Like, they're not little kids. You know what I well, mean? Sometimes when they say right. kids, I get right. But you're right. Immature young men. Right, okay. What are they, that? 18, that's, that's the best thing you 19? What I'm just saying is I could see Still why. capable of really bad decisions. I bet you Guard is saying <laughs> that. I want to, to teach them how to break a press in game situations right. like sure. this. I mean, at the same time, you still apply to the game's over. So. 
that's the other thing. You see what I mean? That's why this is a real... Play, play until the game's over. It's kind of like in football. Yeah, in any I guess it comes down to a judgment call, really. Don't, yeah. don't be down 14 with 5 to 15 seconds left. You know, this problem. That's that's true. I See, that's right. That's I my problem. I can totally but see But I could sides. see why I'm mad if I'm Howard. Right. And I could see why if I'm the other guy. Those reserves need playing time, period. And they probably they yeah. need to be out there just dribbling the clock out and then getting a turnover. I gotta go back now and see if what he, if he, if he says something to him. Can you bring it really back? I'm really curious up? about that. Wait, but hold why, on. You, I thought he was just talking. Before I don't they know do it, like when I you go to, when you wear your mask, else. you when you go to talk, you pull it away. Right. He pulls it away before he even touches the other coach. But right now. Yeah. See? That is the mess is already pulled back. Yeah, I'd before, love to know what he said right there. Yeah. Yeah. He probably called yeah, him an yeah. asshole. He probably said, you piece of garbage. Yeah, I mean, I could probably say what he said. <laughs> you dick. Son of a, yeah, you son of a bitch. Yeah, what are you he doing? Said something really quick. I know what I would have said. What the fuck are you doing? Right, right. What's the matter with you? I know I'd have said that. And he mm. should have just kept on. But then yeah. I would have responded the, the same way. way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What he might have. Yeah. Don't be down 15. Absolutely. Right. And I would have responded the same way if that's I was mad. That's why, that's why these things happen, though. Yeah. And they should happen. I don't mind them. That just gave those kids yeah. a ticket to... That was the problem just here, go though. Just exactly. on this floor, yes. And that's, it's a good thing it... Con actually, that's why you don't do they calmed it down really well. Think about it, because there were no... Sure, I thought instances. it was going to be... I thought it could have got a lot worse. Oh, it sure could have. Because that, that is a uh, free ticket to start throwing. They're in the middle. All the adrenaline is on. And like the guy does the... Right why does the guy do the chop? Watch up here in the right-hand corner, the Wisconsin coach. I hope they show it again. He... Wait, as it, as it plays off, did you see him? Why is he doing that? Yeah. What the <laughs> hell is he doing? Rewind that. This, I this, thought he was telling him, come here. Clear. No, he does the thing like, like he's like DX. What? <laughs> See, there it is. I'm like, what is that what you do? How is that what you go to in that situation? I'd love to see it. That you do that. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Can you oh imagine that's God. your idea? I did not see that. Is to go for the DX chop right in front of Here you, you go, Jamal Howard. 33, 33 seconds yeah. on the stop. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, 33 seconds. Immediately, 33 seconds. What did you do that for? Yeah, what's, what is, that's it. Oh, and then 33 seconds. Like, come on, get out. Yeah. Wow. Oh. People are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That is so ridiculous. There's a thing on on one that of the ridiculous. social media threads. <laughs> that guy's just doing it over and over and over. You know, oh my just, god, that's great. Yeah. I so love he it. everything happened there. You couldn't have had anything else. You know. Oh, All right, eight, uh, 716-804-1229 is your number. If you wanna call in and talk to any of us about anything that we're talking about, please. Message board too, Robin. Are you uh, mind managing? Or? I am managing the message board, Chris. The Carlo and Dawn both say hi. Hi. Thank you for watching. Chris DiCarlo did not get the answer correct for the trivia question. Chris no, DiCarlo, you did not get what it right. What was the trivia Who did he guess? Uh, he guessed Larry. Larry Bird. What was the trivia question? The trivia question is... Maybe it was the only Celtic he knew. Mm. Which mm. player? Which player won N8 NBA championships with the Boston answer. Celtics and drafted in 1956? Correct answers get free cards. You just got to pay the shipping and handling. Right, pay the shipping and handling, cards. free cards. We got great cards. There's so many cards in this place. I, I don't even know what to do. That's all we were doing today, right, Robin? Yeah. I mean, before the show, it was all yeah, cards and all. Cards. Wow. And cards are beautiful now, by the way. If you've ever, if you've ever seen they're them. They're like that all-time oh, yeah, high right, right now. Yeah, yeah they look incredible. A lot of money, lot of money the, in cards again. Cards with little pieces of their... My wife's, my wife's dad is obsessed with collecting cards. It's all good. He has to. He look has there. so many. You, we could be downstairs and discussing a card, and he will go up within fifteen minutes, five minutes, and bring the exact card I asked him for. He's got to start watching. Well, so he watched our show the other day. Yeah, he called in it's the so topic. organized. It's incredible. Oh, we like him. I called him yesterday for a Jason Taylor one because I'm going to a signing tomorrow. Are you? Yeah, Jason Taylor and a whole bunch of bills. Where's Chad it Ocho, at? Cinco, oh, yeah, I heard about that. Oh, the one's that. Uh, Batavia. Batavia. Yeah, Batavia yeah. Downs, right? Going Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, I'm going, going, yeah, I'm going Sunday. Day. So the the thing is too, I don't know if anybody plans on going, but if you, I talked to the guy months ago. This is how I knew about it. And if you have, like for instance, me, I have a Jason Taylor signed helmet. My objective was to go and pay thirty dollars for inscriptions, but you also had to pay for the signature over again. Ah. So you can't just add inscriptions. You have to get another signature. Or just oh. give them $80 and keep the signature you have, which is, to me, a colossal waste of money. 
Sure. Yeah. So I'm going to pay 110 for an inscription. For sure. Yeah. This doesn't make sense. Sense. Right. So we're going. I'm not going, but I know Wade's going, and uh, yeah, I Sunday. think the guys from the wrestling show are going too. Oh, that's so, cool. Um, you guys will have a good time up in Batavia, Batavia Downs. Yep. Yes. That's yeah. great. Yeah, I've heard it advertised. Yeah, yeah a couple of Bills active players. Nice. Thurman's going to be there. And Thurman's going to be there. Yeah. Flutie's going to be there. I have a Flutie yeah, jersey yeah, if anybody wants a Flutie, Flutie jersey. And, Please. Uh, gosh, I can't remember um, the other one is. Flutie's out. Isaiah outrageous. McKenzie. Most overrated I've ever, 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 <laughs> ever, ever seen in my life. That guy is the biggest <laughs> fraud that has <laughs> ever. He was great in BC. Awesome. With the role. You hate for what happened in Chicago. Yes, hate. Yeah. You, oh, yeah. That piece of. Say. I've never seen anything like that when you have that defense and you. It was Ditka's fault, though. The guy shouldn't even have been on the field. Absolutely It was not. ridiculous. It was Ditka's fault. Completely sure. and totally. You bring him in, bum, and you put him there. He looked like a mid- How small he looked in that game. And He's he, a little guy. I remember when he was in Buffalo, and he would jump in the air to yeah. throw his passes. He needed Because he was so small. I, and a jump to throw it over the heads of the linemen. I give him credit, That's though. That's just insane. His he, passes get batted down all the time at the line. I give him credit because he did make a career for himself hey. when it shouldn't have been, but he did. He you did know? win some years. He had. He, had he won a few. Couple, yeah. I mean, he wasn't definitely winning you a Super Bowl. That was definitely not going to happen. I can't believe they put him on the field. <laughs> anyway, I still can't. It was 1986, by the way, so I'm dwelling in the past. Yeah. Because if I wanted to that's, talk that's, about that's the future, it's not bright. I will not. See, I told you about it before the show. Yeah, I don't yeah. forget. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget. Ask the. I was going to go to a different show. I'm not going to talk about the Democrats <laughs> in Niagara County. Oh, we should add on to that at the end of the show. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we looked at we looked at this. You saw Greg Gard. We're all in pretty much agreement that we agree on both sides. Yeah, we, I, mean, I don't. Sure. I don't I like the hit. I got to tell you, not crazy about the hitting. You probably really didn't need. To I throw. love it. I, I love it. The NHL but, needs to be more like you guys. <laughs> I, I love it, but I think you probably that's, just needed to say words instead of. That's a, that's a but hit I should have sent you guys to show. The Sam Bennett I saw hit yesterday. It. That was incredible. I saw it. He blew that guy off. Oh, yesterday, yeah. this week. And that was dirty, too, because that was an empty net. Oh, it wasn't. It, no, it was not dirty. That was in no. between the whistles. No, I'm just trying to say. He should not have tried for an net. empty net goal if he yeah. did not want to get smoked. No, it was a good. It was unbelievable. And then the problem with the NHL is the fight after. Just let him get hit. X saber Yeah. No. Sam Bennett? Was he a saber or no? No. Who was the, wasn't there a saber with that name? No? All no. Right. Reinhardt. Reinhardt is what I'm thinking of. No, no. I'm sorry, Reinhardt. No, there... Sam Bennett was in that class. Yes, uh, with Reinhardt and with... everybody else. Okay. Yes. It was Reinhardt who was the saber, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he was in Reinhardt's, but he was in around See, there. See, I always get them guys confused. Yeah, Reinhardt Sam Bennett was in Calgary. No. Calgary, yes. That was, where, where's he playing now? Now he's in Cal. He's in, was that who he was playing for last night? That was against uh, Columbus. Was it, no, it was against the Giants. Oh, yeah, the Columbus. Columbus Blue Jackets. Robin, I, someone tell me because now I'm going to go nuts. But I I know he played for Calgary, Bennett. Yeah, he and played there for he Calgary. Is. And that must have been then. They were playing. But who the, else did he play for? Yeah, uh, he was drafted by Calgary in 2014, pick four. Oh, he plays for Florida. 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 He plays for Florida now. Okay. Yes. Yes, because on DraftKings, we went with Florida right. in a parlay and got screwed because they're minus three, and they lose. He was drafted. Oh, like, got murdered by Calgary. Columbus. Picked not uh, oh, four. That sucks. Yeah. So anyway, so, no. All right. <laughs> and by the way, since we're talking about hockey, this is without a doubt, I and I usually don't say this because my favorite team is the Leafs, and they haven't once in my lifetime. Austin Matthews is without a doubt. The second best player in the, the league. The best player in the league. Up and down the ice, defensively, I, it, he's going to win a Selkie Trophy. He's going to win a Hart. He's going to win the Rocket Richard again, which will be two years in a row that he'll lead the league in goals. I don't think there's anyone better in the world. I don't see it. And um, it's kind of funny though that he's never he's never given that kind of uh, accolades. Maybe it's because he's in Toronto. Really? I don't know. Yeah, probably Toronto. That's probably. Why. Yeah, never really. No, McDavid. Is, McDavid. McDavid gets it. Yeah, it's but it's McDavid gets it. He's. You guys probably don't watch him. He, he's as good as he's as good as Bergeron when it comes to faceoffs. He went last night like he was 18, 18 out of twenty in faceoffs. Wow. That's the goal cool. he he's he leads I think or he's second in the league in turnovers and taking the puck away from you, okay. and he leads the league in goals. I mean I don't know how it could be any. Who's his line? Yeah, you never hear even. He hear has Marner and uh, Michael Bunting. Bunting. Yeah. Donovan Bunting. He's a rookie, but he just so he plays with a rookie. He's just a uh, he's like Marchand kind of. Bunting, he's oh, like that kind oh. of, just a rat. So why is that? Why don't they talk about and it? And Marchand, don't know. He's an American, 
He is. Yeah, and he, and he, you know what's funny? He's one of the first. He's from Arizona. He's all that. I mean, and like, his mother is Mexican. So it's yeah. the first Mexican American ever. Is it playing. not a, like a good story or something? Like what is it? It should is be. It, is he, you but know, I don't. I don't even know if they. They didn't barely even talk about hockey. Like I, hockey doesn't even come in my timeline at all. Yeah. So. But in the hockey world, for those of us that you know, he should be up there. He is, but it's really ridiculously kind of quiet. Like I don't get it. Like it'll be McDavid, or I'll hear about McKinnon, or, or even Drysaddle. Drysaddle, or even you know. They love Drysaddle. I'll hear about yeah. him. Yeah. So, anyways, I don't know why we went well. there, but I, I was. He just passed Drysaddle <laughs> last night. Yes, yeah, his 36th goal. And... The dry title also plays with Connor McDavid. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, no, no. I mean, he... Matthews is, is lucky to have Marner on his way. Right, yeah, Marner's but Marner is no dry title or McDavid to be, no. like, a paired with, you know? No. Oh, if they're ever paired. Yeah. yeah it's... No, I know. Even Pasternak, he talked about a lot, and he plays with Hall and stuff. Pasternak, yeah. And he'll, he'll get to play Bergeron, and uh, that's the Holy Trinity line, right? He Pasternak. Plays, he plays... Bergeron and uh, Marchand. Yeah. I know. But that's the same thing as you talk about receivers and you talk about who their quarterback is. Right. Uh, I just think that I watched Matt. Last night, I've obviously, you know what, Scott, I don't think I've missed a Maple Leaf game in a, in a lifetime. I don't remember. If I Come wasn't on. watching it, I'm listening on the radio when I was a kid. Really? Like in the 80s, we 70s. We record it when we're not home. And but even as a kid, home. before there was NHL Center Ice, I'm listening on the radio. Because the Leafs used to only be on Saturday and Wednesdays when we were in high school and younger. And uh, so, you know, he's listening on the radio. This guy's something I've never seen. They've never had a player like this, ever. Yeah. Nice. Never. Sundin was really good. I can't believe they but, had Johnny Tavares that year. And he's really, he hasn't scored in 10 games, slowing down. Well, obviously, he's getting right. old. Yeah, he's getting know? old. Anyhow, get off of that. Um, <laughs> I can't help it. Why don't we, um, wait. Wait, can you hear me over there? Why don't we take a break? And then we'll go into Aaron Rodgers. Because I don't want to start Aaron Rodgers with eight minutes to break. You know what I mean? So why don't we take a break? When we come back, we got to talk. We are going to talk about Aaron Rodgers and uh, his Instagram and stuff like that and his cleanse. We'll be back. His cleanse. His cleanse. <laughs> yeah. All right, welcome back. Um, that's the store that we were talking about. You go to Gorilla Zinc uh, Facebook page, and you can see all of our 
Oh, man. Loads of cards, memorabilia, signed items, um, gold getters t-shirts and hats, and uh, coffee mugs along with everything else that we... All of our shows have coffee coffee mugs, t-shirts, and hats. And, uh, yeah, all that kind of stuff there. Jerseys even, too. We got NFL jerseys to buy. Or NHL or MLB, whatever you want, whatever you like, basketball. They're there for you. Mugs. Coffee mugs. Yes, we got great coffee mugs. Gold getter coffee mugs. Yeah. And when, if you start your own show, can you imagine? You're talking about doing your yeah. own, man. On a Thursday, yeah. we'll get your little, you put your uh, logo, your logo on there right on there. a yeah. coffee mug. Yeah. It'd be wonderful. I Get love a it. T-shirt with that logo. That'd be nice. I already got T-shirts being made. Do you? Oh, All right, nice. good, nice. I'll give you my size after the show. <laughs> All right, let's I go. I gotta go talk to him right after the show. <laughs> let's move on to Aaron Rodgers here. Um, I'll t I'll give it a I'll, I'll give it a quick um, what do you say like uh, thing about it, like a summary. He did a 12 day cleanse, yeah. where it was something called Pancha Karma cleanse. Yeah. At the end of the cleanse, he says he's in a state of gratitude. When he posted, a, he posts a lengthy Instagram post after that. He's in a state of gratitude. When he does this, he's also cleaned out. He went, you know, so he's good. Many people, he starts thanking everyone. He thanks his ex-fiance. He thanks Devontae Adams, David Bakhtari, uh, Randall Cobb, Jordan Love, every quarterback, everyone in the world. He loves everyone. At the end, he tells people, love one another, love everyone. I love you. We love each other. It's just really unbelievable. Like he was really something. He was very happy and nice and, and he wanted he to just spread love, he said. Should have did that cleanse five years ago. <laughs> um then Jordan Love would be ready to take over. All right, so you guys know that happened. And then Rogers, of course, um he's gonna get fifty million a year, I would assume, because he'll get what the go why wouldn't he? Well, what's going right? Yeah. What's his plan? For a one year is deal. His, is his plan to go be the highest paid quarterback, or is his plan to try to win a, a championship somewhere well, else? He's inevitably going to be the highest. He's got to be the highest paid anywhere, anywhere, right? Well, who could afford him? Everybody who's out there, right? Who could afford him? Uh, could teams, 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 numerous teams made moves. Okay, so uh, are making offers. So obviously, there was quite a few. I know Denver was one. They listed off all the teams that were right. supposedly the, in the mix there. That that were figuring out their little moves they were going to make in order to try to land him. Now uh, is he? Here's what I'm confused on. You guys will know instantly. Is he a free agent or no. is he, no? So he's still a no, part no, of the no, Packers. Yeah. There'd have to be a trade. Yeah. He has a one-year deal. He's got okay. There'd have to be a trade. The teams that would be able to afford him: Miami, Jacksonville, Chargers, Bengals. They're all at the top of the list. Obviously, the Chargers and Bengals wouldn't even right. bother. Um, Jacksonville probably wouldn't even bother after they just yeah. t Trevor Lawrence. The Jets maybe they can give up on him. And then the, the sixth best team is Denver, where his offensive coordinator is playing or coaching. And you got the Colts somewhere. In then there, you got right? the Colts right after. So if I was him, are you going to be the highest paid quarterback? Or are you going to try those to win a championship? Those are pretty good options. Else? Yeah. I mean, those are pretty good but options. He's I wouldn't got go to a Denver. good option everywhere he goes, now, whether Green, he stays with Green Bay. The GM. Or the Commanders. Yeah. The G he's got a lot of good options. The GM man. said. He's going to move into a good spot he never, wherever he goes with. He never promised Rodgers he'd trade him. The GM said that the other day. That's why so I that's don't interesting. Think he's going anywhere. So right. maybe he won't. So sit, the Sean Watson do sit it. or play. Yeah, yeah. do it's your choice. Yeah. It doesn't. The age of Aaron Rodgers shouldn't matter. The like, if you think about it, you think Aaron Rodgers has five years left. If he sits out this year, he still has five years left. Oh, he does. It won't matter. The age right. doesn't matter. The, I agree. The How amount of games now? played. I'm Thirty-five, saying. maybe thirty-four. I'm I, thinking. I, kinda... I don't know, Robin. Yeah, he... barring injury, he's definitely got. A if you, lot. You, I can look. I so can look, Robin. I, think I can he's look. He's got five I seasons it. worth of playing. That's so just if you his age sit for a sure. season, do what Watson did, and you'll be good to go. Right. I mean, I it only helps his body if he sits a season. Right. right? I mean, he won't sit take the, Tell the beating. He is how old is this guy? Oh wow, he's 38. Okay, but it doesn't oh. even matter. Okay, he's got five years, four years maybe. Has he but, got anything that's bothering him? I that, think, that nags him? No. His toe. No. But the toe, he said it's fine. He showed yeah, him. He showed us. I would say it too if I'm trying to get a team to come, come get me. But I don't. Yeah, he's not going to tell him. The only thing that sucks that. is you got Watson and Wilson there too. Once Watson's cleared up in a couple of months, yeah. you got him that's a. I would rather Watson over Aaron Rodgers, and I'd rather Russell Wilson over Aaron Rodgers for the sole fact that in four years, not I'm not resetting yeah. my team again. I don't want Wilson over Rodgers. I don't. I, the other one I could see. I want Wilson because. Wilson's giving me eight years. But he's so slow. While the other's giving me four years. He looks deteriorated already. Right, but, I mean, he also played with a bumped hand, whatever. Who's this now? Russell, Russell, Russell Wilson. Wilson. How many years are you saying? Eight years? I, I got him eight more years left. Eight more at years? At least. I don't, I don't see him play more than But no matter what, the, no matter how many games Not he plays, eight. whether it's six, Rodgers is playing half the time. I'm not trying to take my Miami Dolphin window and putting it into four, three years of Aaron Rodgers. Why sell the farm, give away two draft picks, 
for a quarterback that's near 40 years old and got four more years But a left. team that's close. I'd say probably you're right. Probably a team that's three close. years, I'll bet you. I'd give right. Rodgers probably so about three I'll, I'll give Wilson six. So I got double the, the chance. See, the only thing that's unpredictable with Wilson is Sierra, honestly, uh, she truly affects a lot of that guy's decisions. Come to Miami. I don't know if that she'll, that she'll he'll Here's, stay around that Come to Miami where J-Lo yeah. owns half the team. <laughs> Here's <laughs> something <laughs> that um, uh, someone on ESPN said. Uh, I think he's ESPN. I don't know. He does a show. Colin Cohart or whatever. Colin Cowart. Cowart? Yes. He said, God, uh, I like him. trade, here's his trade, Darius Slay and four first-round picks for Russell Wilson. Terrible. Absolutely not. That's what he said. He, and he, he made a whole argument about it. I wouldn't it. even trade Darius Slay. trade any of that for somebody. I'm not trading Darius Slay for Russell, for Russell Wilson. Wilson. That's a lot. That's what he said. He said, you got to do it if you're the Eagles. That's a lot. I mean, it, it is a lot, but then. I heard someone I, I else today say three. I've done this with the Miami Dolphins when they'd had Tua, Austin Jackson, Noah Igmanagami. Uh The national eye probably doesn't know who the other two even are. And then the other ones would probably say that two is trash. So how about we <laughs> trade all three of those picks and a corner, and then you would have Russell Wilson. So we say that you won't give up three first-round picks, but what if those three first-round picks are what are trash players three years from now? You oh, no, had it's possible. Yeah, it's a roll of the dice. Oh. It was it was an unbelievable thing when I heard him say it. It was shocking, right? It, Four first rounders, Darius because that's Slay. where they're starting it off from. Watson, all these trade requests are going to base off of Watson, right? Right. Yes, yeah, we don't. Watson's know. been out there for over a calendar year, right? Of being traded for three first round picks. There's no way Wilson or Rogers goes. For, Gosh, does he have? Uh, do you think that's affected his value? It shouldn't affect his value. He's set for a whole year. It's now, not like he wasn't working out. Right, but he might get. He sat for a whole year, but. He's probably gonna sit for um. He might sit for a whole another year. Yeah, yeah I mean, but that, that, he that's could be out of football thing. for two years. They're waiting for that. The field. Now, now is it just a clear. civil case? Is that the civil case? Right that's now. That's the only. I don't understand why they're not. Plus, there's only four victims now. Case. Yeah, I saw. I saw. It's I disintegrated because girls are going on social media and saying uh, the word money, and that right there just closes their. Oh, case. you knew a ton of that was that. And there's girls that said, "I just want the money." There's a girl that admitted on the on the internet. I just wanted the money. And then there's also another girl that said, no, they, they hey, I gave him a massage right. on, let's say, February 3rd. And another girl said February 3rd. His agent and him have proof that he's never booked a massage two, uh, two in one day. So they're problem. lying. Yeah, and also the owner's lawyer of the Texans is representing these girls. The owner's lawyer wow. and neighbor is representing these <laughs> girls. After like he coming. requested a trade. Wow. That's, and, wow. And we all allow that yeah, to happen. We that. all allow a grown man's name to be ruined because you don't want him to leave their team. Gosh. Let him leave his team. That's why you, the way the NFL set up, let these players leave when they want to leave. Give them what they want while they're there. Yeah, but what's stopping them? Is it Houston or is it just the NFL in general? Houston doesn't want to trade him. Right. Houston doesn't want to trade him and he will not I play for Houston. want to trade him? No, only but then you get to the point if where you were what just are you gonna, gonna get do? completely. But not a single one your, of us three by, but you know what I mean? Yeah. By letting him go, would you trade him? No, no I don't none of us to. three on here or any of these two are trading his number one receiver the year before for that's David the other Johnson. Problem. That, was that I still don't understand. No one's letting Will Fuller his right, second that number. That's nice. probably one of the dumbest moves I've ever, ever seen. So yeah. you're, you're pretty yeah. much that was inviting pretty him to, to go. Leave. Yeah, that's what it seems sure. like. You were trying to make him go. That's what you wanted to do. You did it ever come out why that happened? Was it ever? Did no. Did anybody ever talk no, about it? Nobody? Not Hopkins really. Said nothing? I, I wish that whatever, when he went to Arizona, I wish Brian, what was his name, Brian? What's his coach? Oh. He was a GM too, right? Yes, I can't remember. Gosh, isn't he back? And he's back. He's back with New England. Uh, oh, God. Is that, I know his yeah, name. Know Who is it? Brian, I'm forgetting now. So so right. I'm, I'm, but it would be even worse yeah, if he I went to the team that it was traded. It, it, it. it just looked like he was purposely losing these games and disintegrating the team. Right, didn't make any sense. No, I, David Johnson. And yeah, there's definitely bad decisions getting made. Yeah. So, so now with Rogers though, um, I do think he does this stuff like this Instagram post. I think he enjoys. The, I think what I think of Rogers. What I don't, obviously don't know him at all from anything. He appears to think it's funny. Oh, I think he, he sits back. I see him, and on, I see him on Pat McAfee yeah. show when he's on there on Tuesdays, and I can. I mean, he definitely. Does I think it, it's humor. He, he just lets it. He's just like whatever. Well, on Instagram, like, that's honestly his reaction. It's like it's just ridiculous. On the end of his Instagram, what he am said, I do about it? He said, "I." He says, "I love you. Love to everyone." Right. So how about you guys? Do me a favor. Read a book. Like he, like he's saying. You can tell he's trying to. It's if it's, he loved it's these comedy players, to him. Right. He should have did this five years ago and maybe got 
Jordan Love prepared for the NFL to leave his team if he loved like, him so much. But yeah, I just think AJ Hawk says it's just fine. He's a, he's, a, he's a weird dude. Is that what he said? Yeah, he yeah. said, yeah, he said he's a weird dude. He said he's all into this whole hippie stuff and he's just a weird guy, man. I, I don't. The whole, you know, what is it, Pancha Karma? Yeah, that that's he right. Did. Yeah, the cleanse. He's like, that's yeah. like just. Hey, he he, he's always on, shit. in the offseason, he's always in the news. I like. He's, he's a diva. He oh, beat the hell out of the Bears repeated. But we, we don't say and anything like we said about Odell Beckham for him. The way Odell Beckham does his thing, he's a yeah. distraction. Why don't we say that about Aaron Rodgers? He does well, it every, the last two offseasons, he's, he's been in the news. Yeah. He's, no, he's white. Oh, I don't know. Because he's white is why the national media you think? Well, that may, may, I don't know. Every time. Whatever there's a white diva, it's a it's fine. Uh, whatever. A he's white just, diva? He, just, yeah. he just wants out. But if there's a black guy that's a problem, he's a diva and needs to leave. I don't know. Aaron Rodgers got an attack pretty pretty darn good. Only, for us, man. He, there's no, Aaron Rodgers no been attacked pretty go, good. Go ahead and cut him. Everything. Them. They won't cut him. Try everything. They should. I, they're treat. not going to cut him. But they I'm saying he's got. Him. He yeah. gets buried. He gets named, and you know what the number one trend is? But he thing needs is? that though. They call him Throw Rogan. They call he, him. He, that starts trending. Go ahead. And, he's in the news. He wants to be in the news. <laughs> he want, he want, Odell Beckham he, isn't in the news. I think for he nothing finds it funny. Field, thanks. No, Odell Beckham, though, I think was just... He gets roasted yeah. every week. His career's over. His career's over. He shows up in the biggest stage and would have won uh, MVP if he would have stayed yeah, healthy. But we don't talk about that. The we ACL went again, huh? He yeah. just had surgery. Yeah. yeah. But like Aaron Rodgers does the same thing. And it's well, like, Terrell Owens is a good example. Here's a guy who played on a broken leg in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, he's and, a, he's a demon he too. was hated. Black. My God, was he hated. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't know. Well, wide receivers just all seem to get that, right? They always get that kind yeah. of. Yeah. Maybe it's wide receivers, not Buffalo. Sure. I think it is wide receivers. For corners. sure, wide receivers corners and too. corners. Yeah. yeah, wide receivers really are. I mean, you they all were. You see Jarvis Landry, by the way? They, he's playing hurt too, just like Anthony O'Brown. And he's going somewhere. I don't yeah. know where. He's Hopefully leaving Cleveland, he comes I think. Back home. Yeah, go to Miami. Yeah, I, I don't know what that was all home. about. Is he just looking to – I mean, is he looking to leave? Cleveland's a mess. No, I, he wants to get paid again. He said he so. wants to stay there, and he makes $14 million He seems here. like a pretty honest guy. He doesn't seem I like he I think the quarterbacking situation, there's a problem. When, as trying to get out or anything. And the Browns are looking for veterans to that, go in there. That's a team right there that you, so. you should be calling for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, they 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 seem to be. I thought they were going to be good this year. I really I thought honestly, they were. I'm, I'm, I was pretty shocked they weren't. I know. I, I mean, they I had everything they could them. want. Well, because they, you figured they were going to build off yeah. the year before. They did too. They they yeah, got they better see. in the offseason. Mayfield was the problem. Oh, they definitely got better yeah. on paper, and definitely during the offseason. They got better on paper while the Bills went. got better on the field. Mayfield, right? That's that's a good point. But it, yeah. in the offseason, I, I even had this conversation with several people. The not last offseason. The Bills were in a class with Cleveland, you know, the playoff teams, Cleveland, uh-huh. Kansas City. Right. And out of all these teams that I named, the four teams, the Bills didn't get better last offseason on paper in the offseason. Right. They got better on, on the, the field. field. Yeah, they didn't. Isn't they just kept the same yeah. players. All yeah. they did is just they drafted two I really more didn't get why they yeah. didn't try to get better. They didn't I, get I wasn't back. happy with them keeping the running backs. I thought that wasn't a good no. decision. You drafted two defensive ends when your yeah, previous draft I mean, was a defensive reach end. Reach out and, I mean, spend that. You're there. Do like well, you what the just, Rams the, were. You got, the window. You're there, man. The, the window's window small. Shuts. You've yeah. got to should have been in all Got to make a move, and they don't. And I don't understand that. Man. Now, with the Browns, the way they talk about They're, salary cap, it's, yeah. it's garbage. I mean, it's it's it, it it's doesn't matter. It's almost you can a get around number. it at all made times. Number. It is a made-up number. So if it's yeah. just, if it's that easily manipulated, then why don't they everybody just do it? I don't. It is a made-up number. Kansas City was supposed to not have any money last year, and they decided to. Convert. You can convert. That's why their I money see over. teams like that who are full of superstars, and I'm like, how in the living hell are they able to sign all these right. players? So right. Where's the got, money going? All you got to do right. is spread the money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. I Seriously, it drives me crazy. And then I'm like, well, why doesn't Buffalo ever do it? Right. You know, Buffalo, they they'll grab a free agent splash here and there, but they never do the big ones, the the impactful ones. The only free agent big other splash teams eggs, do right? it. it makes no, a humongous that a trade. difference. That a trade. Mario Williams, and since I've cared about football in the last five, ten years. Mario Williams is the only big splash free agent. Free agent. Oh, yeah. Not the best, because Carlos yeah. Hyde was the best. Terrell Owens Carlos, was just for ticket money. Right, That's but Carlos, all that was Carlos or no, Michael Hyde was the best free agent signing they've had, but yeah. he wasn't he, right. a big ticket when he was signed. Right, yeah. And Jordan mm-hmm. Poyer was garbage before he came here. Right. right. No, garbage. you're right. Yeah, <laughs> I know you don't like Poyer. Yeah. I can't stand him. But the Browns, who seem to have everything you could want in a running game, I mean, it's strong. Yeah, Those strong guys, running game. Um, it seems like Jump's offensive fantastic. line is good. I mean, they I, got a, a top three. So is defense? that what the problem yeah. was with him? 
Is well, that what the problem was? I, like I said, Mayfield. I don't watch a lot of Clay. Cle- I think maybe. Why was he getting murdered? Is it just him trying to run around no, like, pa- like the other guys? Is that why he's Cle- getting killed Cleveland's, so much? Cleveland Brown has the third best offensive line in the league. Yeah. So why he's, just no, keeping he's the ball throwing to Odom Beckham, Jarvis Landry, Peoples Jones, handing it off to two running backs that are number ones yeah. anywhere else. Then how's he's, he getting hurt so much? He just needs to go. Yeah, I think he's got to. How's yeah, he get I, hurt? So is he just it, holding the ball? Is he, he hurt? Do we even have a, a check on this? Or does he just say, "Oh, I performed." Oh yeah, bad. he oh, was I'm hurt worse than they but said me, he was. I guess. But I think he's just a bust. I think you oh, know. Right. I think so he too. just Definitely. wasn't not, what they he wasn't worthy he was. of what he should have been. Yeah, but the just, thing with Cleveland is they want to admit it and get rid of him. Right. That's and I know I go back to the Dolphins, but at least if if Tua didn't perform like he was supposed to, they were already looking at Watson. Yeah. They were already looking to move on. Cleveland will re-sign him again. And keep their poverty franchise poverty. Right. Well, the pay- he's Johnny Manziel with a, a second contract too. Yeah, right. and a lot of commercials and He's Johnny Manziel. I like the commercials. commercials; they're funny. Yeah, I can't no, not I don't me. Like I get that. I like I it makes me hate him even I like more. Him. No, I, like I can't. Him. When he's on my TV all you the time, like I want to slap him in the ass. Like does he have more commercials or more wins? That's a question. I'll probably commercials. I guess that's why a lot of people don't like him. He's always in your. I'm like, I don't know. And I always I, heard he was really cocky and arrogant, so I can't get that. I'm already fucking, prejudging him he, when he comes on a screen. He, well, you know? of course. You know, you didn't even have because to. Because I've heard that He about planted him. the flag. He beats Ohio State in Ohio State, grabs the Oklahoma. John is very and upset about this. And plants the flag. <laughs> at, think about it. Right on. on the right on You didn't the see o. that? And then he did the DX thing. Yeah, he did the chop, too. Right in front of the horseshoe. Right I did uh, not know that. No. That's, why the he, he, that's why he no. wasn't a unanimous number one overall yeah. pick that year. Well, that's why I don't watch him. Yeah. Yeah. He, so I don't. Yeah, that's, he waved the flag oh after they beat God. the big he game. Gave and, a, and, but oh, he got the flag on. and did the thing. <laughs> Right where they dot the eye, and yeah, so they have, that, that team is going to miss their window oh by just yeah, mediocre quarterback play. Now, as far as mediocre, that's sad. Right, that's sad. They got a stack defense, man. Right. Well, they stack could. defense. There's some quarterbacks shame. out there, I guess. Right, that Rodgers, Wilson, Carr, Carr, no, Carr. Right, he could be go. Right, no, Carr's there. I don't He's, think Carr's going they, anywhere. I'm not saying cut people. Huh? Like, there's some surprise cuts. There's cut casualties all all yeah. the time. Like Kirk Cousins, you could right. put in there, but. You right. already know Rodgers is talking about leaving. Wilson's already talking about leaving. Watson's always been a, a thing to leave. And that's the only three quarterbacks you really got that Cleveland can do to yeah. jump over the to Bills. Jump over, well, right. Ken, what's right. up with, with Cousins, by the way? Is, I mean, is, but does Cousins take he's them still over? under contract. He's got that huge cap hit. I mean, yeah. I thought he was – so how do they get out of that? Because I thought he said he wasn't negotiating it. You, you can cut him if there's right. no dead money. Okay, yeah. so that was – I was curious. Are they really going to do that? A good question. I don't well, know. That, what. Gosh, after what they gave way to get him, another over. You know what? I mean, if he man, goes to, oh if man, he, if he goes to Cleveland, I don't know what's going to happen. So if happen. he's just, yeah. a, he's if just they a were mediocre run of the mill quarterback, if they man. cut Kirk Cousins, they lose forty five million dollars that they cannot spend sure, on anybody huge. else. You can't do it, and that's yeah. why that's huge. But like, what we do they talking, get? What, what are they getting? Nothing. They can what zero, they, zero, I know that, but but if they do that. What's out there that they can bring in? I oh, mean, yeah. you're in a lot of competition for a lot of no. B-rate quarterbacks. Man. You're going right to the draft, you know. Mar- Mariota. I don't yeah, know. but yeah. I mean, but now, so now you're looking at guaranteeing the next what? Three to four years of mediocrity. Right. But That's if you get a good a guy that that takes a couple years and grows into the right. league. Because not a lot of guys come in like Patrick Mahomes. I mean, let's be honest, that just doesn't happen. Well, Garoppolo's you out know, there for you. It just yeah, doesn't right. Happen. No, no, it doesn't you know, usually happen. No. So when you sign off on that and you make a move like that, well, got it. I mean, you, you're looking. Well, you you're have not to. Getting, you're not getting good fast. No. No, and that's you know? where you've got to take. There's. You got to do so it. So you end up burning out great players well, that are on your team now. When the who need you know what I mean? When you make that decision, it just well, like the Bears, uh, they're a perfect example of a decision gone bad. Trubisky, and then you have just wasted your God, time. I'm what happens you went him. back. Nothing. So he's a bum. The and then he goes, <laughs> nothing so happens. Angry well, about nothing. Mitch. What's he going to do? He's terrible. Mitch Biscuits, come he's on. horrible. And the idiots Mitch here, says he's the, learned the, that. the imbeciles he says here, he's learned, man. the imbeciles he here that tried to tell me. Only, you don't give anybody a second chance, do you? These idiots here that tried to tell me <laughs> in a preseason game against the Bears yeah, that that was up. Right. That's it. Look at this guy. He could start on. Any, he could. I was told that he, he could win start on games. any team in the league. Any team. He's in the, still. He's guy, still, man. He he's still garbage. did it. He's terrible. I had this conversation. <laughs> he's horrible. At work. You just do you? Is he horrible or do you want him to be horrible? Garbage. I watch the Bears games. He's terrible. Not a Somebody's gonna give him money. 
to do Somebody's going to pay. To be a backup. Somebody's going to pay. To be a backup. Somebody's going to. You don't think so? He don't start we'll see what the league anymore. Don't wait. We'll see what if somebody it, might get stuck. He'll be a backup to, to somebody him. like Baker Mayfield, where him. he'll get argued to start. Oh, but pay him what? Horrible. Baker Mayfield's better. Yeah, because if he did, well, if he uh, backed up Baker I, Mayfield, it's almost guaranteed right. he's going to start I at bet. some point during the season. This Dude's get, China. Yeah. I mean, come and on, so, let's be real. And, but Trubisky is too, yeah. because when Trubisky hurt his his uh, collarbone, whatever the hell it was, that was it. Trubisky stopped running. What made him a little bit special was his legs. He stopped. Now he's turning the ball over. See, constantly. I didn't watch enough Chicago and football. I mean, was the what, was the line Swiss cheese? Oh, was it's it Swiss cheese. Oh, well, but Jesus at the time, Christ, though, you but, them not but to wait be a minute, scared? though. Of course, he's going to be scared. He's going to get wait. murdered on every they, play. They they won a playoff <laughs> game if they don't double doink with him. Right, I remember that. But yep. So, but at that time, he was running the he was doing things to move around the pocket, do whatever you got to well, do. Sure, yeah, that was I thought he that gets, was his game. He gets hurt, right? Well, gee, no more. And a lot of that happens, and, guys. They get scared. Yeah, well, I mean, I thought that was going to happen with Mr. Burrow. I thought yeah. for sure. Yeah, right. I was wondering yeah. if he was coming back because he had said at the beginning mm-hmm. of the season that he was that he was this, concerned about it this, at the beginning, right? This, when he came, yes. he came back, oh, he, said, he was concerned. He said he was he worried about it. it. He was yeah. always scared that somebody was going to pop him and he was going to yeah. blow it out again. But if Trubisky, it's bizarre because unfortunately, I live. He's going to come back. Unfortunately, come back player of the year next year. ESPN. Unfortunately, I live in Buffalo, <laughs> so I had to listen to people tell me that this guy's good. He's a Bills fan. He's not, just so you guys oh, know. I'm a Bills fan. Yeah, absolutely. Just so you guys know. I'm rocking we, it, baby. We are not. But I'm just saying, yes. Trubisky, though, in Buffalo, he's a bad guy. If you're not a Bills fan, you wish you were one. That's all. That's all I got to say about if you, that. If you're, a, if you're a Bills fan. Hey, you, man, I've been here for a long time, buddy. If you're a Bills I've fan, gone through it all. You, you wish you had you. Patrick Mahomes. So I was Bears. very upset that we didn't get back. I was you, oh, you guys traded to the this day. Not that I don't love Josh Allen, because I do just like everyone else, because he's fantastic, but. Yes, I was totally upset when they when they drew, when they traded think... that away, and then knowing full well that Mahomes was going to be there, and they traded but that away. Maybe and Mahomes. Took him. Of course, I was upset. Maybe Jesus Mahomes Christ, is he never went right Mahomes to the Super Bowl. Buffalo, was, he was automatically fantastic, True. right? But he walked into a team that was already stacked, right? But maybe so that that who knows what would happen. Trubisky, right. he could have got picked. ruined on. And, you know, he could have been with Buffalo and got destroyed from a shitty right. offensive Cause... line, and then Correct. done. Trubisky you know? was picked the second overall in that draft over Mahomes, oh, over, I know. over Watson. Yeah, Watson. Well, how many first rounders ever really, 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 really pan out? Like, I mean, legit first, second pick in the draft quarterbacks. How often? That's, it's not very often, because, man. Because, like I said they last week, out they shouldn't the be in a draft where they go to shitty teams to start yeah. playing with college people, especially the Alabama boys. That's why boys. the draft should be a lottery. The, the Alabama boys are so playing against tank. Buff State. You be bullshit teams, rolling them over, and then they go to the Jags, the Jaguars, or the Dolphins, and they're playing with grown men, but better grown men on the other side. Like it's, it's the competition is now they're on the weakest team playing against a better team. When in college they're playing on the best ever team. Yeah, not a lot of them right out of that it's storm. Hard. You, you man. can't do it's it. Hard. They you always go like it. Zach Wilson. I mean, I mean yeah. these guys are gonna. These are guys that. I mean Sam Darnold. Everybody thought okay, they crown that guy. That's all I remember hearing. Like I said, Matt I didn't watch Leinert. a lot of college. I didn't watch yeah. a lot of college. So everybody was like, "Man, you get you get an opportunity. Right. You get Darnold, dude. You got to yeah. take him. You got to take him." So fourth, fifth, yeah. sixth quarterback coming off the draft. Right. Got some yeah, I mean because they're going to better teams. Yeah. So when it came down to Rosen or Allen, and I'm basing it on what people I'm, I'm hearing because I don't watch college right. enough, and they're go- I'm going, "Oh my God, they picked Allen over Rosen. Rosen we're right. gonna be, this is gonna happen to us again. Like right. we're you wouldn't know. No, I just you know." And then he then then dun dun dun. Yeah, you we well, they you made know, a good, Josh Allen they, turns into what we all hope that we'd have as a quarterback, and it's fantastic. Right, and, and that's I love every because they, minute of every play. Whoever the scouted field. the thing did a great job. Yeah, absolutely, that, that made the choice. Well, they took a hell of and, a shot, man. A lot of luck goes into that. Right. There a lot of factors, I'm sure, was involved. Like what if Josh happens, went to another team. Do you not think that that he would have? I mean, I don't know if the circumstances are right with all the people he'd involved. Be better. Excuse me? If Josh, if Josh was in Cleveland, Cleveland, he'd be better. Why do you say that? Because they got a better offense. I think he'd have done well in there Cleveland. There was more than that. Yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't just being in a good yeah. offensive scheme. It was it was his mechanics and stuff he, he worked on. Yeah, I mean, does he, does, he, does, he, does he also meet Jordan Love at that point? I don't know. I See, I don't know. Right. I have no idea if, I he would, think... if, he, if, he, if Jordan Love meets with everybody. Or Jordan right. Palmer, I mean. Jordan Palmer, Palmer. Yeah, yeah, Jordan Palmer. Jordan Palmer. Right. Right. If he right. meets with all the – I don't know how they get introduced. I have no well, idea he was in. Well, he was with Jordan Palmer before. But he, he met up with the right guy. He met up with Jordan Palmer, and Jordan right. Palmer turned him to, into 
Mac what Jones. What are you supposed to be? I mean, a lot of guys have trouble changing. Mac Jones is the perfect example of kind of what we're saying. You throw him in there with the Patriots. Oh wow, look at this guy. Well, you I heard throw him, him in coming the... into the draft. I heard his ceiling. He'd already had a ceiling. Right. Yeah. Think I hear these guys today. They're like, so uh, do you know? This morning, I, yeah. I heard it. Sorry, Justin Fields is the best one on all of them. Too much, but well, they were right, saying, has, has, well, can Mac Jones uh, move up? You know, can he grow? Right. Well, like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now he can. Dude, like, yeah. like, now like, he can. like yeah. when, before the draft, you were saying he was at a ceiling. He was only going to get as good as he is right now. If he was in Chicago. Now he's going to be the king of, of Massachusetts. If he was in Chicago, he was in Chicago or Jacksonville, he'd be a bum. Oh, my they God. Just, he'd be they, Gardner Minshew. Yeah. I they'd love be so Gardner. upset. The opposite happened, though, with Trey Lance. I love Gardner Trey Lance went to a playoff team. A playoff team came up and got him. Trey Lance? Who? Lance? Trey Lance. A playoff team came up and got him early in the draft. He's like Fitzpatrick. So the opposite happened. Yeah. Reminds me of yeah. those two guys are characters. Minshew, yeah, Minshew. Minshew and Fitzpatrick are just fantastic. They're they're hilarious. Fitzpatrick's a lunatic. He I don't really know what's going nuts, on. Man. Yeah, in that guy's head. <laughs> which, which Fitzpatrick? Oh, the the my one God, Ryan. Dude, I can't show stand up. him. Oh, mm-hmm. he's great. He's a I goofball. Dude, when he was with Miami, was it Miami when he came out with the shades on, or was it Tampa? Tampa. When he came out with the shades on, he looked like Conor McGregor. <laughs> yeah, he looked exactly. Like, yeah, right. That was the worst season of my entire life of being a Dolphins fan. Every time he stepped on with that stupid, ugly ass number fourteen jersey. I wanted to click the TV off. Yeah, no, I'll tell you, man. Fitzpatrick's I got staying him. power. He can't. He can't be a starter for a whole season. He, but he he's a win, fantastic yeah. backup quarterback. Yeah, everybody knows he can't be a starter. You for count whole on season that guy for probably two good games. Oh, I'd love you to count have on him to put a third good game in there, dude. You're you're gonna fall short. It's on down. He, he'd yeah. be a nice relief pitcher in football. Yeah, I think he tries. I think he gets in his head. He's better than he is. Is it over now for him? Is those? Yeah, he should be done. No, I don't think so. Somebody's gonna. He should go right to sign him. I would not. After I seen him Somebody's screaming with his shirt off, if that was true at the oh Bills game. Oh, my God. Game. Dude, I he, he very for that well may get alone. signed in Buffalo just because of how. Oh, good. That'd be because cool. Because of the Do it. Do you know Back what I mean? up. Sure. Back sign him up. Yeah. Go ahead. Please. I hate him even more. Why not? That's He's where he belongs. Fun. He's a good guy. He was good in Fuck Cincinnati, I remember. Fun, right? In Cincinnati, he was good. I remember that a long time ago. He came in and out of nowhere. Well, he was a starter because Carson got hurt. Right, and he just, he was good. He, he started good. the season in Miami. And then he, he left Cincinnati <laughs> and he became king of backup quarterbacks. Right. He didn't throw the ball 20 yards. Compared to what right. he had before, he wasn't that involved. I would yeah, rather have Josh Allen. No, he wasn't. He was great. He was, he was serviceable. He's he like he was like Chad Pennington. He was they Chad knew Pennington. he no. wasn't going to get him to the Super Bowl. He was garbage. I mean, they didn't know him first, but, you know. Everywhere. Oh, yeah. Because he can't throw yeah. the ball. I, was, I was, Chad that? Pennington is where I like to play. I've never seen worse quarterbacks play out of anybody. I love Chad Pennington. He was... A good little soldier. Yeah, he sure thing. was. He, he was did all right. He, was good. Yeah. he did good. He was never. He was that. You know, you're always going to be just slightly above average, but you're just never going to get out of that. Yeah, right. the best you know? receiver in yeah. the NFL. I'm sorry, in college football at the time, which made him look better than he was coming in, which was Randy Moss. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. yeah well, that makes sense. That's yeah, the only thing well. about the Bama quarterbacks. Look at their oh, their wide receivers are always incredible, yeah. but, and the, and the Ohio State. Too. Same yeah. thing. That's why Dwayne and Haskins. Sure, that's like the NFL breeding where, ground, right? I mean, yeah. pretty much teams like Alabama, LSU, was the Ohio State, Ohio State, State. What is the, Georgia. Is it, who's the most drafted team? I Ohio think State, it's probably? no. It, it goes to Alabama it always or LSU or Georgia. Georgia's up there. Georgia or Ohio State. So it's the four. Southern Alabama, uh, not Ohio State though. Yeah, Ohio State's the only right. Ohio yeah, State, yeah. LSU, Alabama, and Georgia, Georgia. are always the top four. There was a season when Joe Burrow was playing. But the next year team. draft, they had twenty something draftees. And Ohio State had Joe Burrow and let him go. They, right. He, he went to LSU. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. That where he went Joe LSU? Burrow was throwing yeah. to Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase his senior year, or his last year. That and, and turning is, around and handing it to Hilaire, right? Just Wasn't that his and handing it to Hilaire. To Hilaire. That yeah. is sick. Yeah. That, that team could have beat a lot the, of so NFL teams. So the entire offense yeah. is superstars in the NFL. That's right. a, yes. That but then is there's also a quarterback. Impressive. I didn't know that. Ole Miss. Three, four years ago, the quarterback, whoever it was, I think it was. Three, four was years. it Chad Kelly? A while ago. It might have been, been the one after Chad Kelly. Yeah. What happened was, to that guy? Uh, he's in uh, Toronto. He's in, yeah. Argonauts. He's, he just got drafted last CFL. week. He gotcha. was throwing to DK Metcalf and A.J. Brown. Yeah, no, that's unbelievable. Right. Those are his two. Yeah. Wow. Then he got uh, a garbage receiver for LSU throwing it to Jarvis Landry and Otto Beckham. Well, that's why that's why J.T. Barrett was so good. What a waste, man. I mean, he was, throwing, a, he was throwing to Michael Thomas waste, and right. stuff. I mean, these guys. How can you have that receiving court and not win? I, how do you have that receiving you, you court got, not a draft? You got a great tight end too. I mean, are we talking about Tennessee now? Who no, I'm still about talking now? about Cleveland. Cleveland, okay. I mean, you, I mean, come on, man. Well, yeah. how how is there something wrong that that free agents didn't want to play there? Maybe offensive linemen they couldn't get or something to help out. I mean, I just don't for get me, how you cannot win with that lineup. It was all in Cleveland for me. It was all Mayfield. 
Last year? Yeah. yeah. But their offensive line is the best already. They, they know. Need offensive line. Yeah. Good. So then, had, I mean, so I, I'm they sorry. They had Clowney and they had Garrett. I mean, Chubb's always rushing for 100 yards and scoring they a touchdown again. They signed Josh game. Johnson last year. So right. One of the better safeties. They had uh, They've done Denzel everything Warner, they could do. Pro Bowler. They have the team. The quarterback's they not there. they got to get a quarterback. You're going to waste your entire five years. It's always bad, yeah. How, how do you know, though, it's how bad it really bad. was? Because he's going to say it's worse than it was. Hey, yeah, so and you know what's going to happen? He's going to get hit next season, and if, if, it, if it is his shoulder in that case, then it's going to be that much easier to pop that thing back out. Somebody's going to My, gonna my, my point is, is if you're hurt, if he's going to be done for the year again. You're truly hurt, don't play. Who do, all right, we got five minutes left. Yeah. Cleveland, Cleveland, right? We've been talking about them a little bit. Sure, yeah. If they were to go to another direction, let's just say. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers would be your... Yeah, yeah. but so right. I, I would for, Would he go to Cleveland? Why not? Let's think right? about He's it. He's in Green Bay. He? Sure, why not? It's the same. I mean, uh, is Jarvis Landry going to stay at that point? See, there's I bet questions you they would. Be people would want to be there. You've got to have some people. Yeah, but Jarvis Landry doesn't positions. need to stay. That fifteen million I mean, dollars can go to towards bringing Devontae Adams with him. What about the tight end Noku? Is he leaving? Nagoku can Nagoku, leave. Is he leaving? Well, but they have Austin Hooper anyway. That's better. Right, but so, but are but you going to leave? Are you going to lose him? Are you going to? But I'm just saying possibility here. You're losing Nagoku, which doesn't play anyway. They don't even play him. They play Austin Hooper and Harrison Bryant instead at tight end. Yeah, Njoku's uh, Njoku's so, gonna walk. And then, Jarvis Landry's money with three four million will be D- Devonte Adams. If you bring you Adams, because Adams and, and him want to play together, still. there is no yeah. way a team's gonna be able to afford those two. They can Unless one of them takes Cleveland less money. Can. Cleveland's got twenty two million dollars in cap space, Oof. which can eat most of. Uh, it's just a number. <laughs> Uh, it, it is, is it is a fake a number, number, but at it the same time, I, this fake number right now that Kansas City was using last year is going to bite them in the ass in two or three years when they have forty five million something in debt. What, what, what are we looking at? Right. What is Adams commanding? What, what are they looking at for him? Adams for is going to want eighteen. What's, a, what's the franchise 18? tag average? Seventeen. Oh, I, I heard. I think. I, don't even know. I heard yeah. it was seventeen. I think. Okay. So if he's going to sign, I'm not one hundred percent on that. He's going to for like You're eighteen. Right. Is that what is that what the, is that what it is? I bet you it is. I bet you it's a good. About that. Yeah. So he's going to be the highest paid wide receiver in the league. But you can He's afford that, though, because yeah. Jarvis Landry is Can you afford him? But can you afford the highest paid quarterback and the highest yes. paid wide receiver? You got $22 million. When you've already before. got it, when you've got a satisfied Jarvis Landry. You don't have to satisfy Well, you got to let him go. Get, you don't you have to let, let, let him go. go? Why, why, why because you're bringing well, Adams in. Oh, that, oh. You're bringing in Devontae Adams. Okay, so what would you rather have, Jarvis Landry or Adams? Adams and Rodgers. I just don't see that Adams and Rodgers together. doing that, but. They should. They should. If you could have Adams and Rodgers together. You have to talk Rodgers into going somewhere. And do you have to talk? I'll you have be to honest. Talk I, th- I think he already likes. He already has a reason to go to Denver. I think Denver's number one Correct. choice for him due to the fact that his coach. Is and there. they can also go ahead and get Devontae Adams. And they've got a great young team. I mean, there's that's that's if I was to go anywhere, if I was him, yeah. I would go to Denver. I think he's got his best opportunity there because they've got a lot of offensive pieces and already in place. He didn't have to worry about. But who's there. the the team in Cleveland's better than the team in Denver? I think so. I kind of agree. Far there. better. I think they're the defense is so much better. The, so okay. the defense alone do you want to so do you want to do you want your competition to be aging quarterbacks or all the up and who's coming? Are, who's his competition though? Regardless, it's who's his competition over in the NFC. Really? Right, but he's he, who's gonna who's gonna yeah. who's gonna afford? No one can afford him in the a- NFC besides except for the Commanders and Seattle. But Seattle would also have to dump. God, Wilson wouldn't somewhere. that be crazy if they swapped? Right, that yeah. would be Wilson for and Rogers. Wilson would Could love you to. imagine Wisconsin, that? Wisconsin guy. Could you even imagine Russell that? Is from Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh my god. It would work out well. Wow. All right. Let That'd me be uh, crazy. Great show, guys. We're two minutes yeah. left. Cool. Um so two and a one. Yeah, yeah we should fun, start to wrap Get it up here. Get engulfed in conversation, you forget. Yeah, we could go for a couple more hours. I love it. That's what we that's what we kinda wanted. Sure. So um you'll be back. You're going to yeah, come back every yeah, week. All absolutely. right. Yeah, and, of course, Willie will be back all the time. Robin, you have no choice but to come back <laughs> because uh, you're in the car with me. So you're coming back. That's right. And Wade has to come back because he owns the place with me. That's so where's Wade going to go? He's got to come back. He's always here. He's here more than anyone. Anyway. So he's got to turn them lights on. Cons- yeah, right. So, anyways, all right, like real quick. In the corner. Uh, tomorrow, falls count anywhere with um, Charlie Turner and Chris DiCarlo. It's all professional wrestling from today and yesterday. A lot of yesterday stuff. A lot of great interviews with old uh, wrestlers come on and managers. Pretty good stuff. A lot of great clips. So if you were a wrestling fan back when you were a kid, it kind of brings you back kind of memories. It's like memory lane. It's kind of cool. Um, Citizens United will be on Monday. I have a guest will be on uh, John Anderson from Vancouver. We will have um, some new... Julio's talking about starting his own show here really soon, so we'll give you more information as that brews and keeps going. Um, what else do we have that I'm forgetting? Goal Getters, of course, on Friday. 
And uh, don't forget about um, Skyler's Marvel Madness. He does, uh, Wade's son, does a great job in Marvel Madness. We got a video game show coming up with some kids that are doing stuff. Gorillas and Inc. Views. Gorillas Inc. Views on Tuesday night. You can watch Robin and I from the couch. And, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Let's get out of here. Buy and some jerseys. Buy jerseys, buy cards. Uh, represent us, please. Take care, everyone.